Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So you guys, I just came from outside walking with the kids. We did about 31 minutes out there, living our best life. Um, uh, I went and done some prepping today and I uh, wanted to share with you what I was able to get. So I'm doing the Practical Prepper Pantry. It's practical, it's 20 bucks here, 30 bucks here. It's a little extra, a little bit, whenever I'm able to find the extra money. And so I did want to say that I had a couple um, love offerings, a couple blessings come through for the kids and I. And so we, I didn't even take the kids. I just went myself and picked up a few things. I got meat. Uh, one blessing was specifically for meat. So I'm actually just parceling out little bits of that as I'm able over each week. The, the one thing I find with any type of stocking up or prepping or what have you is when I shop weekly, I'm able to find the best deals. I'm not saying if I shop once a month, I wouldn't find some good deals, but I don't think I would find as good a deals as I do by shopping each week. And then I don't mind shopping each week. I actually need that. I need the payoff I get from finding the deals at the grocery store. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but it works in my brain. It makes much sense. And so I just live in that space of doing what works best for me which is shopping every week because I can follow the sales and I can get the deals so that's what I did or what I do today was just one of those days where hey I had this extra money and I had some time and I was able to go by so it's not a Wednesday um, or grocery store day but every single time I'm able to get something in I'm going to the store because what I'm finding is if I wait Prices are going up every single day. So the other day when I shopped at Aldi, I was going to get oil. And I was like, okay, oil is two eighty nine dollars at Aldi. Surely it's got to be cheaper at Food Line or anywhere else. I would get to Food Line today because that was as close to my house as I could get um, without going out of the way. And um, oil was five eighty nine. dollars Here I am thinking it was expensive at Aldi. And I was getting just some regular... Um, vegetable oil or canola oil to have for baking, right? Because that's not something I traditionally buy. We buy the olive oil. But um, I was getting that just to have in the pantry and it's $6. I'm like, oh my word. So every time I get a little bit of whatever, blessing, gift card, food card, whatever, I'm going immediately with the next opportunity. Because if I don't, the prices are going up every single day. Uh, Ma'am just came in from walking, so if you hear any noise, that's her. Um, let me turn my camera around and show you what I picked up, and then I'm going to show you my sheet. I actually was looking for the 52-week challenge sheet, and I actually found it um, online, so I printed it out again, and I was using that to grocery shop, but things have changed on that as well. Alrighty, you guys, so here's what I picked up as far as preps are concerned. Um, I was looking for this macaroni and cheese at other stores, and it was expensive, but I actually found it on a sale at Food Line. It was um, $2, $4, so I picked up $3 worth. This rigatoni, we do not have this type of pasta in our cabinet or any of our pantry at all, so I picked up three of those. They were $0.98. Cents. Um, I know I can get like two pounds of spaghetti for $1.12 or $1.25 or something like that at Walmart, but I was not close to Walmart because a lot of people keep saying, she came to shop at the Dollar Tree. I don't live close to a Dollar Tree and I wasn't by one. So when I was looking at beans, they had beans for $1.18. Yes, I can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree, but I'm going to have to drive another five miles, three, four, five miles to get to the Dollar Tree. So I'd rather just eat the 18 cents in the store I'm in right now than to have to go over to the Dollar Tree. I mean, I am hardly ever by a Dollar Tree. And that is just how it is. So well, that's a great suggestion. It doesn't work in my trips now. You, When I took Jackson to the other Taekwondo place, it was fairly close to there. Now that we're totally at a totally different school, it it, we're nowhere close to it. So th I was just thinking about that because I know a lot of people say shop at Dollar Tree, but I'd rather eat the 18 cents than drive the extra miles. Um, I picked up two things, the iodine salt, 49 cents each. And then I picked up this corned beef hash. It's food line corned beef hash. It was $1.89 per can. The other one was over $2. So I picked that up. Um, and then I picked up a uh, whole long grain brown rice. They were 92 cents. So I picked up five of those, six of those, six bags of those, and we'll put those in a bucket. 
Um, then I picked up Sweet Baby Ray's, the sweet and spicy, the no sugar added. Even though we are eating regularly, whatever we have, I'm trying to still manage the carbs as best I can. They were two for $5. I actually had $10 in my wallet that I was saving. And so I actually paid for this. And then the pink Himalayan salts were $4.99 for 40 ounces. And that's as cheap as I've seen them. And I got those on the international aisle. So that was $10. That was $15 for four items. That doesn't count anything, any of the other stuff that I got. So this was $5, $10, $15 for four items, y'all. So that's just, you know, how it's going. So 15 and then six boxes, um, six things of rice was $21. And I had uh, received a $20 blessing. Um, and then I just paid for the rest of this um, with some the the $10 I had. I had $10 in my, in my purse. So as far as meat, kind of was a little excited about this because meat is so hard to find these days on a deal. So I got this thick cut bologna, thick slice bologna bar S. They, they were a dollar, I think a dollar 18 or 19 cents. So I picked up three of those. Then I actually just happened to run up on a sale at Food Line. I mean a markdown, right? A manager special. This was $5.58. I got another one for $6.13 and another one for $5 as well. This is the Nature's Promise All Natural Chicken Breast. Now normally we get chicken thighs or a whole chicken, we cannot find chicken breast for this price. Like, you have never seen that in a long time. So I picked up the three packs they had on Markdown. I can fillet these or butterfly these and cut them in half and make twice the meal. So I think there is two, three, four, there may be five, four or five in here. That can be sliced into eight if you cut them in half and that's at least two meals, right? And then I picked up pork chops. And these are the thin cut pork chops. We pretty much like the bone in, but these were boneless. And so they were on sale today. $4.99. I got another one for $4.78. I got another one for $4.50. And then one for $5.17. So I got four packs of pork chops, three packages of chicken, and then three things of bologna. So what I'm going to do is the money that I was sent for the meat, I'm breaking it down by the week, right? So I'm doing a little bit here because everything but steak that I bought two weeks ago for $4 and some change at Food Line was $25 tonight. So I'm just trying to get the best meat deals I'm able to get as I am able to um, each week. And I'm going to try to go, you know, on the nights I feel like maybe there might be some markdowns. So let me show you what my sheet looks like and then just kind of walk us through the process I'm, I'm working on right now. Alrighty, you guys, so here is the 52 week challenge. This came from organizedmom.net. This is not my sheet. I just retyped it so I could actually write on it or type on it in Google, Google Docs because her sheet is just a PDF sheet. And I wanted to kind of monitor how much I was spending each week. I've done this sheet twice. It's each week for 52 weeks, you, you get something. So what I was trying to do this time was to see how quickly I could, um, how quickly I could do this sheet. And I found it a little bit challenging. First of all, the biggest problem was I went to, um, food Lion, and I don't normally shop at Food Lion, so I don't know how to navigate the store as well as I do Walmart and Aldi and Harris Teeter. Like I can, I know where everything is in Harris Teeter because I've shopped there so long. I really only shop Food Lion for Markdown meats, but I just found myself in there today. It was the closest to home, and I needed to get home, you know, in a decent amount of time. So, um, the one thing that I am trying to do is to see how quickly I can get through this list. But I'm telling you, it was already presenting a challenge for me. So week one is five cans of meat. Meat is expensive right now. So what I did was I got the two boxes of salt. I did get that. So I'm gonna put today's date, 11, eight, right? I got two boxes of salt. Then I went back and I got um, the five one pound bags or pasta or box macaroni i'm counting the two boxes of macaroni and cheese 
plus the rigatoni as this purchase, right? So I got that 11.8. Then I started looking at veggies. I was like, okay, I got 20 bucks, I can get veggies. The cheapest canned veggie they had was a dollar, 99 cents. I was like, no, I know I can beat that at Aldi, but I wasn't close to Aldi. So I said, well, let me figure out what's next on the list. So then week four was three 16 ounce bags of rice and it says can be brown rice. So I got six bags of brown rice and so I'm marking 11.8 for brown rice. And then I'm going to look for brown rice again because I know it's on this list. Okay, brown rice is on week 30, week 40. So I'm technically not doing the weeks in order. I'm just pulling what I can for from each week. Um, the other thing I got, let me see what else did I get. I think that was pretty much what I had gotten. Barbecue sauce, I know I got that. But I don't know that that is on this list as of right now, which I don't think it is. But it was really a challenge to, um, you know, to really just try to do this because of the pricing right now. And I'm going to keep at it. I'm just going to do what I can each week. I'm going to I'm, I'm probably going to blow this sheet up like do it half and half or make it larger so I can actually uh, write on it a little bit more closely. And then I pulled another sheet. This is the one year food emergency storage challenge. Um I think I I pulled this from somewhere else as well, but for each week you get one specific thing. So first week is dried fruit, the second week is salsa. It doesn't tell you how many to get, but it just tells you to get this particular thing. So I don't feel like I have enough leeway right now to just do this more than I have the leeway to do this sheet, which it just says, you know, meat. And then it talks about pasta and then veggies and then rice and then beans. So it goes, you know, it's not just one thing of beans, but it's five of this and three of that and two of those. So I find, I'm feeling like this sheet is a little bit more along the lines of where I want to be right now as far as prepping is concerned because I really am feeling a crunch with it. However, um, I am going to do the very best that I can uh, with what I have. So, you know, there that is. So to be very honest with you all, uh, like I said in the last vlog that I am, the kids are working on some stuff behind us. So if you hear noise, they, we live in our house and sometimes I have to film with them around. Um, as far as the nerves are concerned, as the prices, like I'm just looking at prices and I'm going, are you really serious? That oil about took me slam out, but um, that's okay. I'm going to make the adjustments that I need to make. I can go back to Aldi and pick up the 289 oil. Not this week, maybe, but next week is fine because we have olive oil up here. The only reason I was getting that was for baking. I was just getting the oil for baking. And then I thought, well, let me look at Amazon because I might be able to find it cheaper on Amazon. And then it could be delivered to the house and I don't even have to drive anywhere. And I'm not trying to not drive. I enjoy going to the grocery store, but the amount of money you spend in gas going to the grocery store versus the amount of money you spend on the product versus the amount, you know what I'm saying? It just all starts to add up. So I am gonna be working this 52 week challenge. And then I have for you guys, I haven't filmed it yet, but I have um, meals, right? Some meals with what we have in our stock pantry, what meals we could actually put together. And so I will be sharing that as well. So I've already made a list of those meals and I'll be able to share with you um, those particular things. Coming up as well in this Practical Prepper Pantry, we are going to have our Thanksgiving, what we are planning for Thanksgiving. Um, we're really not sure what we're doing just now, but um, normally we spend Thanksgiving with our pastors. That I don't think that's changed or we haven't heard that it has changed. So we will see um, how that all runs down or works out. Other than that, I mean, we're just going to keep on keeping on. I know it can be a little daunting. Like I said, I'm, I'm looking at the oil at $6 and I'm like, my God from Zion. Um, they also had coffee for $6.99 up for a big 10, but I generally do the decaf because of the blood pressure. And um, I didn't have the extra $7 to spend today. So it was fine. I just went past it and moved on to the things that I could 
uh, wash it first. It has to be washed before you um, chop it. Did you chop up the bro the, the celery? Chop it. It just must be washed. Yes. There should be some stock in the fridge. Jackson said. No. Let's try to use four, five, six of them. Yeah, and wash those, and I'll chop them up real fast. Or you gonna chop them? Okay, just chop it down the slides. Slide it down the middle and chop it that way. Yes. We're also trying to do some prep, y'all. So sorry about that. Um, we live in our house. We are living here today. And um, yeah, I've got um, I've got kids kids group at seven. And so we're just getting some stuff done for dinners so that we can have lunches for the next few days. But anywho, you guys, there it is. I am so very blessed and thankful for anyone who feels led of their heart to bless our family with a gift card or anything like that. That is never the requirement over here. I have told you guys, and I believe this with my whole heart, the Lord is going to provide for us. He always has more than just providing financials. He has provided me with a mind on how to put stuff together. If all I have is a little bit of this and a little bit of that, I can go in my kitchen and make it happen. I am a creative in the kitchen. That's where my creative, that's where my, I took a, I take a test with my students at, at school. And uh, one of my, one of my uh, uh, codes is artistic. I, I test social, conventional, and artistic is my Holland code. And um, I don't draw anything at all. But in the kitchen, I'm creative. In my clothing, I'm creative. In my planning or decorating, I'm creative. That's where the creative juices come out. But they definitely come out in my kitchen. And then the Lord has given me the wherewithal to say, hey, you know what? You can make a, you can make a mean pot of beans. And we are not opposed to eating beans and rice around here. I just got six bags of rice. And I was thinking in the prepping too, I'm like, but Shakima, you're buying items you don't eat. We will eat that. They, they ain't no make mo no mistake. We will eat that. Um, it'll just be going back to the way that things were. And so what happens, chop that chicken up a little bit more fine as well. Um, what has happened is, no, chop it before you put it in there. Put it on a, um, get a what's your name? Um, plastic mat and then get the chopper and you can chop it that way. Um, we walked today because I ate carbs. I had carbs today. We walked. Tomorrow I'm going to the gym right after work. I'm going to eat whatever is in this house. So I'm not so concerned about the type of foods I'm eating at the moment. Although, it, you know, when you've been keto for three years, you it's in the back of your head. Um, but I'm going to eat whatever. I'm going to walk or I'm going to go to the gym. That's And tomorrow I walk on Tuesdays when Jackson goes to Taekwondo. But I am going to the gym first and then walk. So I may just do 20 minutes at the gym because I need to get him quickly. So I do 20 minutes at the gym and then I will do my 40 to 45 minute walk. That's over an hour I've exercised. Um, right now, the only concern I have on my body is my tummy. I am an apple shape for real. When I look at pictures or I look at things, I'm tiny here and my legs look like little matchsticks. But my middle section is just round. So I'm working on that. Other than that, and I'm building muscle as I'm going to the gym and doing all the things. So, you know, we're just going to keep on keeping on. Let me encourage you a little bit by little bit. Um, we bought some uh, Primal Kitchen, um, like marinades and stuff that will go perfectly with the chicken breast. So we're going to be using up what we have. Uh, we may do chicken breast with a brown rice and a veggie, or we may do chicken breast with just veggies and beans or something. I'm not real sure. But we're going to work something out. So, anywho, you guys, there it is. We are still prepping around here, doing all the things, taking stock and note of what prices are, and just governing ourselves accordingly. So, anywho, there it is, you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.